Welcome back, friends. Hi, I am Ajay. This is my English story. I did not know any English. When people spoke English, I could not understand. The words sounded strange. I felt lost and confused. But now I speak well. I can talk with friends, read books, and write sentences. It was not easy, but I did it. Let me take you back to the beginning. I remember the first time I heard English. It was on TV. The characters were speaking a language I didn't understand. They laughed, talked, and seemed happy. But I couldn't join in. I wanted to understand. I wanted to be part of their world. At school, English was a subject. The teacher wrote words on the board, and she said them out loud, but to me they were just sounds. I couldn't make sense of them. My classmates seemed to get it. They nodded, repeated the words, and even made sentences. But I sat quietly, hoping the teacher wouldn't call on me. I was afraid to speak. What if I said it wrong? What if they laughed at me? I did not know any English. Now I speak well. One day I decided I wanted to change. I wanted to learn English. I wanted to understand those TV shows, talk with my friends, and do well in school. I knew it wouldn't be easy, but I was ready to try. First, I talked to my parents. I told them I wanted to learn English. They were supportive. They said learning a new language was a good idea. They encouraged me to start small and not give up. That gave me hope. I started with the basics. The alphabet was my first step. A, B, C, I practiced each letter. I wrote them down one by one. At first, my letters were shaky. Some were too big, others too small. But I kept practicing. Soon, my letters looked just right. I was proud of my progress. Next, I learned simple words. Cat, dog, apple. These were words I saw every day. I made flashcards with pictures and words. I looked at them often. I said the words out loud. Slowly, the words started to make sense. I could see a cat and say cat. I could hold an apple and say apple. It felt good to know these words. Practicing every day was important. I set aside time each day to study. Sometimes I was tired. Sometimes I wanted to play instead. But I remembered my goal. I wanted to learn English, so I practiced every day. I learned a little more. I started to make sentences. I am Ajay. This is a book. These were simple sentences, but they meant a lot to me. They were my first steps in speaking English. I practiced with my friends. They were kind and patient. They corrected me when I made mistakes. They cheered me on when I got it right. Their support made a big difference. Speaking out loud was scary at first. I was afraid of making mistakes, but I learned that mistakes were okay. They were part of learning. Each mistake taught me something new. Over time, I became less shy. I spoke more and more. I felt my confidence growing. Reading and listening were also important. I started with children's books. They were simple and had pictures. I could look at the pictures and understand the story. I read the words out loud. I repeated them until they sounded right. I listened to English songs. Music made learning fun. I sang along even if I didn't understand all the words. Slowly, the songs made more sense. I watched English cartoons. The characters spoke clearly. I could follow their stories. Watching cartoons helped me learn new words and phrases. Writing was another step. I started with simple sentences. I like cats. Today is sunny. I wrote in a journal every day. My sentences were short, but they helped me practice. I paid attention to spelling. I wanted to write the words correctly. Spelling was tricky at first. Some words were hard to spell, but I practiced. I used a dictionary to check my words. 
Each day, my writing improved. I took small steps. I didn't try to learn everything at once. I focused on one thing at a time. This made learning easier. Each small step added up. Over time, I saw big improvements. I joined an English club. We met every week. We talked about different topics. We played games in English. The club was fun and helped me practice speaking. I made new friends who were also learning English. We helped each other. We shared tips and encouraged one another. I found language partners online. We talked through video calls. They wanted to learn my language, and I wanted to learn English. We helped each other. It was like having a friend to study with. We practiced speaking and listening. We corrected each other's mistakes. This helped me a lot. I asked for help when I didn't understand. I asked my teacher, my friends, and my parents. They were always willing to help. They explained things to me. They gave me tips and resources. Asking for help was important. It showed me that I didn't have to learn alone. Learning English changed my life. It opened new doors. I could talk with more people. I could understand more things. I felt more confident. I was proud of my progress. Now I want to help others. I want to share my story. I hope it will inspire you. If you are learning English, know that you can do it. Start small. Practice every day. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Ask for help when you need it. Keep going, even when it's hard. You can do it too. At first, English was hard. I did not understand words. They seemed like a puzzle with no solution. When I heard people speaking English, it felt like they were talking in a secret code. I tried to listen carefully, but the sounds were strange. They did not make sense to me. I felt frustrated. In school, English class was the most difficult for me. The teacher would speak in English, and I could only catch a few words. She would ask questions, and I didn't know the answers. I felt embarrassed. I wanted to hide or disappear. My classmates seemed to understand everything. They could read, write, and speak in English. But I struggled with every word. When we had to read out loud, I was scared. My heart would race and my hands would shake. I worried about making mistakes. I worried that others would laugh at me. Sometimes I pretended to be sick so I wouldn't have to go to English class. But deep down, I knew I couldn't run away forever. I had to face my fear. One day I decided to start with the basics. I realized that I needed to build a strong foundation. So I began with the alphabet. A, B, C. I took a piece of paper and wrote down each letter. I practiced writing them again and again. At first, my letters were uneven. Some were too big, others too small. But I kept practicing. Slowly, my letters became neater. I felt a sense of accomplishment. Learning the alphabet was like opening a door. Each letter was a key. Together, they formed the building blocks of words. I found joy in this simple practice. It was fun to see how letters combined to create new sounds and meanings. I used flashcards to help me remember the letters. I made my own flashcards with colorful markers. On one side, I wrote the letter. On the other side, I drew a picture of something that started with that letter. A for apple, B for ball, C for cat. I looked at these flashcards every day. I said the letters out loud. I traced them with my finger. The more I practiced, the more familiar they became. I also watched educational videos for kids. They were designed to teach the alphabet in a fun way. There were songs, dances, and animations. I sang along with the songs. I followed the dances. These videos made learning enjoyable. They helped me remember the letters playfully. Learning English made me feel many emotions. At first, I felt nervous every time I tried to learn a new word. I worried about getting it wrong. I was afraid of making mistakes. 
But I knew that if I let fear stop me, I would never learn. So I tried to be brave. I felt a sense of excitement when I made progress. Each time I learned a new letter or word, I felt proud. These small victories gave me confidence. They showed me that I could do it. They motivated me to keep going. There were times when I felt overwhelmed. English has many rules and exceptions. Sometimes it seemed like for every rule I learned, there was an exception that confused me. I felt like I was taking one step forward and two steps back. But I reminded myself that learning is a journey. It takes time and effort. I had to be patient with myself. Support from my family and friends made a big difference. My parents encouraged me every day. They told me that it was okay to make mistakes. They told me that every mistake was a step toward learning. Their words gave me strength. My friends helped me practice. They were patient and kind. They corrected me gently. They cheered me on. Their support made me feel less alone. I also learned to celebrate my progress. Every small step was a victory. I celebrated when I learned a new letter. I celebrated when I wrote a word correctly. I celebrated when I spoke a sentence without stumbling. These celebrations kept me motivated. Learning English taught me more than just a new language. It taught me perseverance. It taught me resilience. It taught me that I am capable of overcoming challenges. It taught me that I can achieve my goals with dedication and hard work. Today, I am still learning English. I continue to practice every day. I read books, watch movies, and have conversations with native speakers. I still make mistakes, but I no longer fear them. I see them as opportunities to learn and grow. My journey with English has been filled with ups and downs. There were times when I wanted to give up, but I am glad that I didn't because each challenge has made me stronger. Each obstacle has taught me something new and each step forward has brought me closer to fluency. So if you are learning English, I want to encourage you to keep going. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be discouraged by setbacks. Believe in yourself and your ability to learn. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small. And remember, every word you learn, every sentence you speak, brings you closer to your goal. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope it inspires you on your own journey with English.